Alright, uh, weird. I'm gonna test some music because I actually can actually see the uh, screen now. Let me turn off the PlayStation a sec. Quiet, you. Alright. Man, that's fucking weird. I mean, it's possible my capture card's gone, which would be mildly irritating, but... Right, I'll put Metal Gear back on since uh, that was what we actually blasted one with earlier. Does that... Can you hear that okay? Ugh. Audio's good? Alright. I'm very confused because uh, it doesn't make an awful lot of sense just for the sound to not work, you know? Because it's HDMI, so in theory, if the image was affected, the sound would be affected. So I really don't know what's going on with that. Hmm. I'll have a I'll have a play around so we can do. Again, it could be just my capture cards bought. Wouldn't be the first time I've had equipment to nothing. Alrighty. Plan B. Plan B is a go. Plan B is a go. Very strange. Plan B's are very effective. Very fine. Alright, I'll give people a couple minutes to get in here, um, since I technically restarted the stream, like, twice. Plan to watch Ubisoft? Yeah, I don't know if this... I mean, again, if it's Division-related, it could be interesting. I mean, to be fair, the Assassin's Creed stuff looks great. But, I'm actually about the new Dragon's Dogma game, people are already voicing fears about being woke. I mean, they might not have played the other games if that <laughs> was the thing. Lewd. I feel, if they're asking that question already. Hey Mugs, our oh, fellow fool, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Hope you're doing well. Appreciate the resub. I mean, the biggest problem with the Dragon Age trailer is not the fact that, like, the sort of uh, woke boogeyman is coming out to murder people, it's the fact they look like shit. I, th I think that's actually a bigger problem with the Dragon Age trailer. <laughs> hey, disease. You yeah, dude. They showed off, like, a 15 second clip of, like, the city, which looked infinitely better and in better tone than the entire trailer. I have no idea what they were thinking with that. Like, bizarre. Uh, save number four at the railway. It's like I saw loads of crazy people talk about, um, uh, when Star Trek Discovery first came out, and they were like, oh my god, like the main character. Like, of course they don't have a white guy as a main character. I'm like, have you ever fucking seen Star Trek before? What the fuck? What a thing to complain about. How far into the game are you? Uh, about 90 minutes-ish. About 90 minutes. Hey, Vicky. Alright. So we gotta go back to... Uh, we're going back to the swan boats, aren't we? Because we've got the thing now. You know my rules for Daikatana? Not Daikatana. Well, actually, I should probably add that to the list of things. I should probably not. It's weird. Avoid it. But you know my rules for Cryofear. I think we have to bend these little weirdos. Weirdos bend. It doesn't turn. Put something in its mouth. Yes. The gemstone. Beep. Turn the wheel. 
The wheel can be turned left or right. Accelerate. Oh, I see. There's the chain. So if I do this, will it hook in? Will it move it around? I am very clever. Hello? Are you coming up to me? Hello? No? That did not help, did it? Meow? What are you meowing about? Oh, I can just turn the... I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. My bad. Chuck, 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 chuck. Meow? What's, what's meow? I have the chain. What's upset you? What performs you to do vocalry? Do you want to turn the toy on? Hold on. Let me, let me, let me do that. Do you want me to turn the toy on? I think she's looking for her sister, who's not up here. I think her sister's under the bed, so... My windows won't even let me upgrade to 11, because I haven't put the threat protection module on. Sergeant isn't raises, how it not notices? I know, I figure. I can't leave my without my buddy. Which, which one's my buddy? I think the problem with Michael Burnham is not the fact that um, the actress isn't white. I think it's the fact that just Michael Burnham's not an interesting character. Oh my god. I have the chain. Okay, so I think that's the puzzle we need to do in here, wasn't it? So. Right, so let's have a, let's have a bit of a a recheck of what we got. We got the crank handle. Oh, I kept my gemstone. All right. I got the chain. Is that enough to do the lift, I wonder? The, the new Doom game looks really cool. Wait, the mushroom's open. Wait, was he open before? He wasn't open before. Deeply upsetting. Let's go look at him. Wonder what caused the mushroom to open. I'm gonna shoot this box. I can't carry any more antelopes anyway. I should not say this, but for your safety and my sanity, please do not eat any of the mushrooms. Search each area carefully. Small items and antelopes and grenades be easy to overlook. Thanks. It's a velvet rope. It's about root barrier, it's blocking the way. Although I can easily move it. Move it. Ow. That was uncalled for. Looks like a sad mushroom. By decree of his royal highness, the monarch of many mushrooms, the court finds the following to be deadly and dangerous. Death cap, destroying angels, and deadly dappling. It's the mushroom king. There's a button on his head. I will leave it for now. What's around the other side of the room? By decree of his royal highness, the monarch of many mushrooms, the court finds the following to be innocent and harmless. Blusher, moral, and shiitake. Okay, let's push the button on his head then. I invited Aminata F uh, Falo Falodius to dinner. Alas, I find myself dining alone. I'm afraid the death cap will be thrown to the pigs. The distinguished Mrs. Morcella. The illustrious Miss Lepiota... I'm not reading that. The esteemed lady Amin Aminatia. Does it want me to eat the mushrooms? I don't know. Seems like a very unwise idea. The veritable Lord Aminatia Bisbergeria. The renowned Sir Le Letiona Adosus. 
And the Honourable Mr. Anamita Philodorus. That's the one that, um... Aminata Rubiscans. We need to find Rubiscans, I guess. Wait, this could be dangerous. Eat the mushroom. Am I poisoned? I'm not poisoned. I invite to Amanita Phalaeodorus, the last of them to be eating alone. I guess I have to go Phalaeodorus. I mean, this seems too obvious. There seems to be a thing I'm missing in this room that we're going to get binned. So we're going to get binned on. I invited Latuna Adoas to dinner, the last time of dining alone. I'm afraid the Chitago will be thrown to the pigs. So do I eat the Chitago? I don't quite get what the deal is with this one. Blusher, Marlin, Shiitake. We don't have a bunny tail, we just got a big beefy dress, I think. Morcella to dinner. Morcella. Amanita Biscopuria to dinner. <laughs> Another destroying angel we found it. So we know that's a that's a dodgy one. Lepita. Lepita was this one? No. No. Lepita must be on this side. Eat the mushroom. Leave it. So how do we do this if we have to can't eat the mushroom? Do I shoot it? <laughs> can't shoot the mushroom. I don't get this puzzle. I'm not quite sure how we not we don't eat something. Jeffrey Combs makes everything better. I would always be happy with him being an angel dude. Do you not eat any of the mushrooms? We ate some of the mushrooms. The problem is I feel it's binning us, isn't it? This is a deadly mushroom. I feel ill, I shouldn't eat anymore. I'm poisoned. Bit of here. Wait, have I just done this in the wrong order anyway? I'm gonna die. Rip. I don't quite get what the puzzle is here. I mean, what did you expect? Uh, there's no option to say like, no, I don't want to eat it, and but I want to, I want to remove the mushroom, which is what I feel we might need to do there. Hmm. Maybe we need, maybe we haven't got enough contacts. We need to come back, perhaps. Maybe this is, maybe we need to come back after getting some like mushroom destroying gloves or something.
we've got the crank and the other thing, don't we? So we can just we can just go in there. So let's oh let's remove. Let's remove the goblins. We got goblins. And we'll insert the jet back into the dock. Quack. 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 That doesn't work. Yeah, it does. Put something in his mouth, yes, the jam. Okay. <laughs> meep meep. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure with that one could function. I'm gonna have to leave it. A little bit a little bit puzzled. Can we do something with this other duck? I might want to do it. I wonder if we can Well there's another item on this other duck as well. Feels like maybe there is. Have a look. We can reschedule the water. We can absolutely do this one. Take the grody chain. There we go. Well, you have the chain. I don't think there's anything else in the other duck, so. The head came off, though. Spooky. All right, let's let's leave the mushroom king for now, since I think we're just gonna poison ourselves again for no good reason. Uh, where was the little tiny mushroom house? Was it up here? Oh shit! No, it's actually further down, I guess. I took a nasty slap there. Oh, it's here. So now we've got the chain and the other bit, and we can bring up the stuff. So we put the chain, uh, turn wheel, and then it should say it's missing something. Use item. Chain. I attach the chain. Something's holding onto the chain. What I've done is holding onto the chain. There's no one climbing into that hole. Can I torch? Good amount of gasoline left inside, okay. I attached the chain. It's full of rocks. So I don't know how we get the person to let go. It's a large metal tank. I wonder what's inside. It's a pipe valve. It's missing the handle. Turn the crank. I guess now we can try and turn it? There we go. And we torture. Okay. The chain came up. The resin melted. There's something hanging from the chain. The woeful mask. Ah, we need that mask to get in the uh, haunted place, don't we? Fantastic. That's good news. That's what we like to see. No, no. Oh my god, everything's like trying to murder me. Terrible. Okay. So if we go back to Spooky World, over this way. The mask was over here, wasn't it? There we go. We can put the sad mask in here. Beep. And now we can go into the Witchwood. They give you Digimon world vibes. Oh, what sort of food have you got for them? Is it delicious? Oh no, I'm very good at... I'm very good at mazes. Oh 
Oh no, it's got pentagrams in it. Spooky. The symbol looks like a swirl. Kick it. Oh, I see, so depending on what one you do... So that gets rid of the eye ones. Nice. Had a very similar style to it. I actually really like this graphical style, I think it's really cute. Like I said, I think I like her big boofy dress as well, I think it's quite fun. Now we've got pentagrams, so now we can get past the pentagram. Okay, let's go kick that then. We'll leave that for now, that gives us shotgun shells. We still haven't got a shotgun yet though. We had to get pentagram in again, I think. What are you gonna do when you finish it, though, Figgy? Beef food on from the new Chinese. Oh, nice! It's always good to like how many Chinese clothes. It's decent. Yeah, grab the two hundred degree mouse with your bare hands. What could go wrong, right, Mugs? Okay, we can bonk this. Very nice. It's a grenade. So I guess now we need to bonk this in such a way that... I need to get to the centre somehow, don't I? Well, I mean, duh, since, you know, this is a maze. Alright, I think we go back this way then. Another one of these little. Nice. Oh, what's in that? Bullets? Bullets. Nice! Alright. We did it. We look, it's like a witch's cauldron. It's full of worky water. It smells bad. Reach in. It's weirdly warm. Reach in further. It's something at the bottom. Grab it. We got the trident. Nice. We know to put that. That doesn't feel good. Oh no, there's goblins. Be gone, goblins. And also a big grind gets you the best bow in the game, among other useful items. That's actually really nice. The old Warframe star grind. I like it. Yeah. What the fuck? Did you see that? What an asshole. Trying to fart goo at me. What's Ubisoft of Sugar's and Outlaws? I think the reputation system bore what we were hoping for. Oh, nice. I saw the latest like gameplay trailer I saw of it the other day actually looked really solid. Uh, I forget, where were we going which had the... The trident area. Uh, past the fairy pond, wasn't it? Wasn't it past fairy pond? You can disable traps if you save your ammo, yeah. I think it's, it's a nice system, I think. I like, I like the way it works a lot. So I think we go in the fairy thing. Assassin's Creed looks really freaking good. Oh boy. I think this is a job for, uh... No, that did not help me at all. Shit. Oh my god, I, d I died? Shit. I did not save it. Dang it! All right, at least we know what to do. My health must have been pretty, pretty scabby. Right, let's see if we can avoid getting hit by any gribblers this time.
Those guys look like they got quite a bit of range, actually. Can I avoid getting into a fight with the big smelly thing over there? Oh, it's not there this time. Must be random. Okay. Turn the crank. We put the chain on the wheel. I wonder what was holding the thing. Oops. Chain. Oh, right. Oh shit, I died! I haven't got the chain yet! Oh, what a peeny! What a fool. Fool I am! Oops. Oh shit! Wrong button! That wasn't a waste, so good. doesn't work. I don't know why it says the gemstone doesn't work. Oh, I think it's just a bit fiddly. You can watch now. Fantastic. Beep beep. We were going to do Solar Blade, but we, uh, we, we've encountered technical difficulties. Oh, did you stream this as well, fella? This is on normal mode, that's for my first playthrough. I figured for first playthrough it made sense to do on normal. Survival horror mode or whatever it's called, you know. Right. Oh, that's Mushroom Man again. We need to kind of bait this guy over here, don't we? I don't know what his range is. His range is relatively high. You did exploration, you want to try survival horror. Oh no, and look, yeah, now the Gribblers, uh... Oh, now I can put the chain on. There we go. You're bullying to play in survival horror mode. I think, I think this is fair. I think it's, it's a fair mode difficulty and so far. Let's go touch the red hot mask again. No, 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 no. You can leave. Like I like I like the fact that you can die and like you know it's um it's challenging enough you know, but not overly like overly punishing. These guys are pretty mean though. They got I think they got pretty pretty hefty range. I'm gonna circle him. Not stand the poison. Okay, I'll just get munched by that guy. No. Alright. It seems like the game's fairly compact in terms of locations as well, which is kind of nice for a game like this, actually. Okay, let's go through this again. Right, let's make sure we bin all these because uh, this will be a bit of a, a bit of a willy fest otherwise. So we need to do eyeball first because that gets us the goodies around here. Yep. Cool. This wasn't a particularly difficult like you know, puzzle, so to speak. Oh. I mean, if you need any hints, I might need some because I'm pretty bad at these games. But I think normally it's just I'll get I'll get stuck on like a reasonably obtuse little bit of puzzle that I'm just like hoof durf. How do I durf? How do I hoof? Uh, was there a goodie behind it? Was it grenade behind this? Or oh, there's ammunition. That's the way we need to go, isn't it? There we go, that's the, that's the grenade. Which will replace the one I wasted. F fabulous. And then we can... We get rid of... We get the swirly now. Oh. 
Nice. Now we pentagram. Get some ammunition. I think the game's been pretty good with the puzzles, actually, yeah. The game's been pretty solid with them. That was a health kit. I don't think we need that, do we? No, we do not. I mean, I could technically use one right now. We're on okay, but I think we'll just leave it. There we go, and that'll get us to where we want to go. Then we work our way backwards. I'm trying to get killed. There we go. The mushroom one I just don't get. Like, I, I'm, I think we're missing context for the mushroom one. That's the only thing I'm thinking. Uh, I could go to the utility corridor and save it before we carry on. I feel that might not necessarily be a bad shout. I enjoy this kind of game to the point where I would like to actually try and like get, you know, S ranks or whatever on, on the um I'd like to get like the S rank on this on hard mode sort of thing. I think that'd be really cool. Cause I, I think this would be a really rewarding game to like not save in, if that makes that makes, like the most stupid thing in the world, but like not saving the game, trying to run through without taking any healing, without taking any damage, or wasting any shots sort of thing. I like doing that with Resident Evil as well. I think that was a lot of fun. Like, th these kind of games I find are quite rewarding when you really know what to do. Uh, and you sort of... Motherfucker. Oh, God. Oh, that's just not a dignified pose. I'm sorry, man. Yeah. Well, that's just where we saved it, then. Yeah, those guys have a lot of range, and I need to give them a respectable berth, I think. There we go. I notice as we're going along, the park is getting more like just out to get us. Around this one. I don't have a shotgun or anything yet, which is definitely causing me a bit of grief when it comes to... Um... Smell phone's going. Wait, where's the smell of phone? Ah! I need to put the trident on the wall? Where's the trident go? I swear I said there was a trident hole around here somewhere. Who did the Ocean Kingdom uh, wrist trident? That's it. Without it, we can't do the Happy Birthday Sea Monster song. So how do I get through here then? It's a wall, but I hear something behind it. Can I shoot the fire extinguisher? Will that like explode the wall? Maybe. No. Well, I got the trident. Can you see my map? Yeah, sure. So I guess we can't do this yet. Hmm. So we can't get through here. Stupid little crow's head to give us grief. Okay, so this isn't gonna work yet then. So, what have we got? Chain, rifle mask, gemstone, crank handle. Have I seen any other places? The dungeon's got a circle on it. The dungeon's got a circle on it. Maybe we should go back to the dungeon. And check it out again. But here's something behind. I'm surprised I can't hit it or do anything. I can see something in the ceiling up there. Look, I can see there's a chandelier over there. Hmm. 
Okay, I guess we go back. Let's go check the dungeon. Can I get past these two goblinoids? Ooh, close. So, where's the dung one? Back down this way. Well, the trident. Oh wait, wait. We, I forget. There was something we can put in this guy's back. Can I put the gemstone in there? That doesn't work. The chain, the mask. I guess I need a battery for this guy. Okay. Right. Let's go check out the uh, dungeon then. Trying to think of all the like. Leftover puzzles that I've yet to have a look at. Is this the dungeon? This is the dungeon. Alright. What the? Damn chandeliers. There's a door I might have missed? Spooky. An open door, maybe. There's the staff hallway. Crow's office, but that's, that's zapped up. The train room, but that needs a key. Oh, the, the door over there. In the main area. Maybe I can use the crank handle on that? Because it was like a slot, wasn't it? Maybe I can do it on there. So let's try that. After getting a chandelier dropped in my head, for good measure. Let's go check it out. This looks cranky. Yeah. That guy over there is looking a bit sussy. Nice. Well, that seemed unnecessary. Oh, did it actually hurt me? Yeah. The chandelier jolted my memory. I forgot about that other door. I forgot about this other door. Ah, we're in the ocean kingdom. Hooray! We searched the burn for good measure. Lame. Can we deal with the gassy headmen? Yeah, okay. Storage, staff only. The handle is broken. It won't budge. Jammed. There's a bear trap, we should avoid that. Nemo's adventure is accessed by a 15 foot vertical ladder. Do not attempt to use the ladder if someone's already on it. Nemo's adventure is not suitable for young children, pregnant women, the elderly, or people with back or heart conditions. Well. You heard him, chat! We ain't gonna... Sorry, we're closed. We can... It's locked from the other side. Don't we have to do the song? Let's get into the restroom. On to you. Right, let's have a good look. How we haven't got a, we haven't got a uh, thingy here, have we? Shotgun shells. Nice. What's this? It's a bottle containing an antidote. There's the sunken treasure area. There's two boxes. What's in these boxes? It's a large med kit, but I'm full on those anyway. I noticed the acid bottle in the mermaid cage is pretty much empty. You can refill it from the acid tank, but I heard Crow moved it down to the underground level. And no, I don't know what he's using it for. I didn't ask. Bonk. Don't need to give you something if you've literally got no items. Isn't that what the game said? Like, if you've really stuffed yourself, like, you can hit the vending machines. That looks like some farty. I don't think we should go into the farty. Ah, map. Thank you very much. Right, let's have a look how big this place is. Ocean Kingdom. Quite a few doors, like reasonably big. Nice. Control room. Can we get someone to hook up the sprinklers in the theatre to the main water supply? Currently it's just hooked up to a water tank, but it's not airtight, so it'll eventually dry out. There's a golden key. Big metal door that is is jammed. More ciggies. She keeps saying I'm not allowed to smoke, which is unusual. I wonder why allowed to in particular. Like, what's stopping her smoking? 
Maybe she's pregnant. Maybe that's why she's not allowed to do that. Okay, the only thing we see is Nemo's adventure, I think. I hid the golden key inside the fairy's head. Not the pond fairy, the theatre fairy. Even if you break open the head, it's in a block of resin. So you need to melt it with something. Acid would work, or perhaps fire. So we know where acid is, so we've been given the clue there. That we need to get acid from the underground. So we know that multi most of these doors are jammed. So let's go back and... Uh... Well, let's go check out the underground in Nemo's Adventure. Welcome back, fella. I hope everyone's enjoying this, by the way. I think it's uh, in a cute little game. Oh, this looks like where we can get a shotgun from, maybe. Handwritten letter. Hey, Ed, how's things? I got your shipment. The system's all up and running. And the important part, I've lined up the major buyer for the gold. I've had to put on a bit of a show when they visited the site, but I think I got away with it. I had a thought, though, about the rocks you're using for the ore. Do you think anyone over in New York would be able to tell if it's not Brazilian? Like they know it's from Georgia? Maybe I'm overthinking it, Marv. Well, yeah, they would, because you, you can tell, can't you? The fire is crackling softly. Oh, it's a save point. Okay. Might as well. You like the FF7 like graphics? Yeah, it's, it's really cute for that, isn't it? Collection of staff memos. That's more ammo? So I'll, uh, the health item? Oh, this is like a save room, isn't it? Video game tips, health. Save number 21. The person affected Captain Nemo. Open it. It won't budge. Maybe it's a different way to get it open. Rules of the sea. Octopus plus... Oh, I see. So we have to get 21, don't we? I'm guessing to get 21 open. Let's see, what's the best way? So we could do... If we need to get to 21, so we can do, uh, we got, so we got even numbers there and odd numbers there, and then we got multiply, so we just need to multiply something by 2 to get, can't multiply anything by 2 to get 21, no, but we could get something, we could get like 24, maybe, and then minus, yeah. Can't we just do octopus, I, I'm, actually, depend if we even let, let you do that. Hello, kiddies. So you can just do octopus shark, octopus shark, octopus shark, dolphin, right? Unless I'm mistaken. It's broken. Oh, I have to shoot them myself? Oh, this is a scam. Octopus shark. Octopus shark. Ow! Kitty! Oof. You got me right in the hand. Oh, that bleeds. That bleeds a lot. Oof. Ah! Come on, kitty. That's not very nice. Octopus. Where's the other shark? And then dolphin. Missed. Ouch, 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 that's bleeding quite a lot. I should probably get that looked at. Uh, hold on a sec. Where's the dolphin? There we go. We have the shotgun. Hooray! It's a metal cabinet, but I already took the shotgun. Nice, I can assume we could choose what we equip. And then we could reload it. Kitty, you made me bleed. Look. Look what you did. Oof. You guys need to be careful. Right, I need to wash that up then. Since you guys tried to maul me. <sighs> You reload on the menu instead of clicking the ammo, that makes sense. I don't have any alcohol, no, I can just I can just quickly soap it under the water. Give me a sec. Oh.
Oh, ouchie. All right. There we go. Right. Uh, wrong condition. Okay, aren't we? Fine. Let's see. So I've got my shotgun now. So I can swap between them from here relatively nice. Oh, I see. We can do, we can do it quite quickly. Okay. So I guess we'll save the shotgun for anything big and tasty that we need to be up. I've got okay. I could just quickly just heal top up if we wanted to. What's this game about? Oh, we've only done one stream of this. Uh, we've gone to an abandoned amusement park to meet a Mr. Crow. We don't know why Mara wants to meet Mr. Crow. It's, uh, her ID card says she's a copper. We don't know much more than that. Uh, she's a firearms expert. Um. And we've met a couple of people who also want to meet Mr. Crow. He seemed to have got sued and he's done something a bit sussy. Okay. Uh, oh, that's just... There we go. That was the same thing. Alright, we're done here, aren't we? So let's go. Oh, kitty, you really caught me there. Oof. I wish you'd be more careful. Oh, wow. This guy looks like a sort of fucker who needs a grenade. She's also lying loud. Yes, we know she's lying. Yeah, she lied to someone else about this. So we don't we don't know why though. I'm not quite sure of the context of the lies, but she is lying. Alright, so we've been the big lad. So let's there was more sunken treasure, wasn't there? Oh, it's like an arcade. Cool. There's no power. That's the fortune telling machine. I know that sort of gives you hints, doesn't it? A basketball game, the power is off. There's a silver key, which we do not have. Okay. An arcade count, there's no power. Sorry, out of order. Change machines are always broken. Wait, is there a second note behind it? What on earth? Set the arcade get machine scores. Dolphin score should be twice the mermaid score. Boat score should be twice the dolphin score. And shark score should be twice the boat score. An equation. Atlantic Rope, August 1988. Crow Country suddenly announced sudden closure. While its popularity has been on something of a downturn recently, there's no public signs for impending closure for the local theme park, Crow Country. However, many angry guests were forcefully turned away as they showed up to the park yesterday only to find the gates were closed. Speculation is rife that this sudden decision has something to do with the Elaine Marshall incident reported in the newspaper two weeks ago. Edward Crow, owner, issued this statement. It's nothing to do with the Marshall incident, we're just closing for refurbishments. That doesn't line up with the fact that people had tickets booked for the visit for the park this week. What's going on, Mr. Crow? Who's this guy? Hey, can you not point that light at my face? I got a wicked headache as it is. Who are you? I've never seen you before. I'm Mara. Agent Mara Forrest. No shit. What's, a, what's like... That's like the girl version of my name. What's your name? Mark? Marv. Of course. Marvin Trumbull. Why are you here? Are you an employee? No, but I do work with Ed. We're, uh, business partners. Edward Crow? Yeah, do you know where he is? I was about to ask you the same question. Ah, shit. He's gonna done it, hasn't he? Done what? Hey, so, how old are you? Old enough. Nice gun, by the way. What is that? A Browning? A Colt? Uh, yeah. Sure. Oh, I mean, what kind of work do you do with the Crow? I work overseas, normally. Just came back for a little visit. Only Crow's gone and disappeared. Great timing. <laughs> Marvin! Hello? Pretty sure he's around here somewhere. See, I wanted to use the northwest elevator, but Tolman's prowling around the... Tolman? Yeah, you know, Ed Root's excavation guy. Root? What? Maybe I'll try the southwest elevator. That could work. Wait, the elevators are broken, aren't they? <laughs> huh, that depends. On what? Yeah, I think I better get going. See you around, Mary. That's rude. I didn't even know our name. That's disrespectful. Some of the kids are complaining that high scores weren't being saved. I guess the machines reset when their scores, uh, their scores every time we turn them off. 
Don't know if that's supposed to happen, but I'm not going to fix it. Gives the kids a reason to keep coming back. Antidote as well. Alright, what's in here then? Very vague. And you got our name wrong. The only thing that... I don't know if this is saucy, but it says police ID. She says she's an agent. That says police. Uh, it says firearms expert. Um, she didn't know what the gun she had was. Unless she just didn't want to tell him, of course. And that's his 65, and this is 1990. Don't know if that's... I think she... Yeah, she'd be 25. Yeah, I guess, yeah. So where are we now? We are... Oh, we're in, like, the back rooms. Aha. Uh -huh. The Western Utility Corridors. The are in the staff hallway. In between the crow's lounge and here. That's interesting. Oh, we're on the back end of that room we found earlier, I guess. Hello? Hello? The first guest emerged from the pool two years ago. I've been thinking. It must have been on purpose. The timing, I mean. Two years ago? 1988. Must have been some sort of intersection. A critical pivoting point, if you will. Late enough that we've developed the necessary infrastructure. Early enough that we've... Well, early enough as to not be too late, I suppose. She could be 34, yeah. The real sus thing is she didn't tell the police guy she was supposed to send his replacement and she has, she's also an agent. Yeah, she didn't. Yeah. Very, very... Like, she, clearly she's like... Clearly there's some saucy shenanigans going on here. This looks like a boss room. I can hear something breathing in there. Yeah, why not? Nothing happened. I feel it's gonna pop open at some point. I don't like this door. Kick door. Oh hey, the sign dropped down. Let the record show I solved my problem with violence. There's a silver keyhole behind this door. I don't have silver key yet. This is another one of the lifts we can't go down. Oh look, there's a uh, dude. Hey Ed, what's up? The mine has an inspection coming up. National level. Scary shit. Someone told me to check the actual minerals in the ore. Like, they check that it's a match for the local area. Then someone else told me they don't ever do that. But they will with me, because they definitely suspect something. So I had a crate of rocks and soil delivered. Let me know when it gets to you. I got the contents for free, obviously. But it's cost an absolute freaking fortune since it's so heavy. Which means we can fool the inspection guys. I mean, violence makes sense. An apple core? Boo. What shotgun shells are? Thank you. The root excavation areas need to stay locked when you're not using them. If you need to access them, the switch that unlocks all the gates is in the break room. That's in the northwest underground area. Okay. Does this count as the break room? I guess so. <laughs> you see through the lounge. Harrison James sitting on the couch. He hasn't noticed me. This is kind of fun. Okay, that's enough of that. Hi. Well, well, look who it is. Mara, you told me you're on your way out. I got lost. Uh-huh. I'm not stupid, you know. Did you find Natalie? No, not yet. I thought she might be in here, but... What are you reading? It's an old book about gold mining. It's actually really... Looks boring. Mara, is there something I can help you with? So, how are you feeling? What do you mean? You're not injured? You haven't been attacked by anything? So you saw them too? Those creatures? Did they attack you? No, I ran. Fast as I could. I thought I was going crazy. Mara, what are they? What's going on here? Do you know something? Harrison, if you're really not injured, you should probably leave. Get out of here while you still can. I can't do that. I still need to find Natalie. She might be in danger. You're still looking for Natalie? Where have you looked? Ugh, basically nowhere. 
Everywhere I go, doors are locked, paths are blocked. Always seems to be something like a kind of a weird key. It's infuriating. Yeah, it's that kind of place. You get the hang of it after a while. Okay. That's a, a bottom of gasoline in it, maybe? It said that the key to unlocking this is in the northwest corridor, which is here, I guess? We the doors are locked when they open them already. That's also pretty weird. Did I misread the sign? No. If you need to access, the switch that unlocks all the gates is in the break room that's in the northwest underground area. Oh, underground. <laughs> Duh, can't read. Sorry. Alright. Hey, I saw the little guy. No, he's not that little, I guess. I feel this is a shotgun kind of situation. Oh! Didn't push the right button. That was a grenade. Keep doing that. For some reason I keep using X to fire. So it's so cool. Nice. All right, so scrabble, scrabble, scrabble. Ah, here's the restaurant. Okay, I'll save that ammo on the floor for now. What's this game about? It's about trying to find a missing man called a uh, crow. Come on in, we're open. It leads outside. I guess we wanna... Where's the phone? Aha. Hello? The worst part is I never really wanted the gold. I didn't really care. It was my father who wanted it. He made the decision to buy the land. Years later when he died, he left all of Crow Country in my care. I had no choice but to come back, finish what he started. Wait, the theme park originally belonged to your father? No, Crow Country is the name of the land. This land. He's gone. Very sussy. It's a statue. Fruit are friends. Good to know. It's a staff memo. Neptune's past birthday. Hey, don't fight around my legs. I like my legs unclawed, please. Neptune's palace, birthdays. Have parents place gifts inside the treasure chest. During the meal, give the trident to the child. The sea monster will turn towards the trident. When they're facing the trident, they'll sing. As long as the trident isn't too far away. If all four are singing, the chest will open. The child can head gifts out of the chest. The sea monsters often get stuck and won't rotate properly. Just give them a tap. Girls. Oi. Watch it. Can we get the code for the front door? Change, please. It's far too easy to guess. Is it the factory default or something? This is a security concern. Factory default? No. No, where's it go? Unless it's one, two, three, four. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Do we need to get all four of them? God damn it! Fucking chandeliers. The cup is empty. Strawberry sunshine. Oh, do we have to choose what we want, maybe? Hamburgers, french fries, chicken nuggets, exactly what you'd expect. Tolman's records. Boss has begun experiments with the pool. He attaches the key to a long chain and slowly lowers it in. He waits 25 seconds and pulls it back out again. It's changed. Too long in some places, too short in others. It's the wrong shape. That's quite spooky. I might get rid of that poison. There's no keyhole. Something's holding the lid shut. It's a glass monster inside. We can tap the glasses; they get stuck. I 
guess I'll just stand in a... Three! Got the silver key. Kitty, ow! Kitty, ow! Come on! Oh, come on. If you're gonna do that, you need to go outside. Oof. Yeesh. They're not attacking, they're getting overly excited by zooming around and trying to climb me. And then they, she tries to cl she tries to jump up and grabs my hand with her claws to climb. Oh dear. Yeesh. You are sharp. Doing that hurts me. I know you don't understand, but yeesh. <sighs> well, now I've got scratch marks on my other hand. How old is the kitty? Nine, nine weeks and three days, I think. Yeah. They don't really understand, but uh, that really smarts when they do that. Oh, I've got, I've got bleeding on left hand and bleeding on right hand now. Oh dear. Well, I've got the silver key. Ooh, that really stings. Damn. I look like a right state at the moment. You wouldn't believe. They grow out of it. Yeah, they just they get they're just getting a bit overly excited about stuff. I think is the problem. Honestly, it's like they've got little needles for claws. It's really uh really sharp. The disinfectant, the docks and yesterday, the alcohol one. Yeah, we use it at work. All right, well, I got a silver key now, which is good. Sweet. There's a couple of silver doors we've. Uh, we can now go and unlock, I think. This looks like a truly cursed. Do we need to come this way? Use the silver key here. Right, I best go wash my fucking hand again. Oh dear, fuck's sake. Ouch. Be a sec. Yeah, I wouldn't want to. Um, I wouldn't want to risk doing their claws at the moment. They're so zoomy and so twitchy. I'd worry about hurting them. Like that's the problem. It's, it's very rare that they're they're still for very long. Like when they're tired, you could potentially do it. But oh wow! All right. Oh hello. Sorry for barging in. I should introduce myself. I'm Mara Forest. I'm looking for. I like the purple. What is that? Died. Must be. Doesn't look like a wig. When you finish talking about my hair, I think I might need your help. I'm looking for Edward Crow. Yeah, I bet you are. You must be Tolman. Must be. What was it Marvin said? You were the root excavation guy. Correct. What's root excavation? No idea. You know, you're not being very helpful. Correct. <laughs> the park is closed. Duh. I know. So go home. I can't go home. Sure you could. Just get in your little car and drive away. Sure, that guy you saved would appreciate it. Arthur, you know about him? At least he had the good sense to get injured once and give up. Tolman, what are the monsters? 
The monsters? Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. No, it's just... Trust me, Mara, you don't want to know. Can I turn the elevators on from here? The elevators are broken. No, they're not. They're just pretending to be broken. So where's the switch? Let's see if you can work it out on your own. Fine. You don't feel like helping me find the elevator switch? I do not. Right. A bottle containing an antidote. The sound is horribly distorted on the radio. Probably because the arrow has been cut in half. It's a notebook. Tolman's records. Guests are appearing almost every day now. We can't save them. They're far too gone. But I want to know where they come from. I found a number marked in blood on the ground. 2106. It's not a code for any of our locks. It's not a code at all. It's a television. It's showing static. There are four VHS tapes resting on top. Examine the tapes. Hindenburg, 1937. 1912 Titanic. 1350 Plague. And 1945 Hiroshima. It's like a four channels masturbation set, isn't it? Alright, let's try to start with uh, Hindenburg. A small fire broke out on the port side, just ahead of the port fin. One witness on the starboard side re re reported another fire behind the rudder. Titanic. How easily man's greatest ambitions are undone. The iceberg first part on a cold, moonless night was April 14th, 1912. They say it could have been avoided, were not for man's in inclination for hubris, panic, and blunder. A Litany in Time of Plague by Thomas Nash. Rich men trust not in wealth, gold cannot buy you health. Physic himself must fade, all things are made. The plague full swift goes by, I am sick, I must die. If there's an option, you just murder that guy, seriously. Look up as you are passed over by the heavy shadow of the B-29 bomber, but in an instant it is a lighter. It has released 10,000 pounds of cargo. Keyboard. It's pretty cool. I'm jealous. Okay. Electrical grid with four little lights. The lights are all red. Is that a music note? So we need to play music. I guess the music's related to the VHS tapes. I wonder what the relation is. I heard that Godzilla film's really good, yeah. One minute's on Star Wars, sorry. Yeah, maybe I'm just being. <laughs> I'll tell you if it complicated it. That's an A. Okay. So, see. So, I was reading the text and looking at the picture. C. So, we got A, C. Do we do it in order of the dates, I wonder? Yeah, looking at that, like, yeah. F. So, F, F first. Then A, then C, then. What was the last one? So, e. Fade. Okay. No? Oh, face. It was C, wasn't it? Yeah, sorry. Not D. Beep. It's a big metal tank. A piece of Tuesday's isolated for examination. Wait, what? Piece of Tuesday. Okay. I solved your stupid puzzle. Be honest. You loved it. <laughs> okay, so the elevators are now on. So we can get to the underground area, I guess. Tuesday. 
Oh, I can't believe how bad she caught me with her claws. That is ouchy. Oh, one got me right between the finger, like my finger and my knuckle, like on my left hand, and this one got me right on the top of my hand on the other one. Mara, hold up. What is it? Don't go down there. You'll regret it. So be it. Is the big guy's out here by any chance? Bet he is. Yep. So if we go back to the lounge, we can go back to... Well, we can go back to the restaurant. There's a question mark on the restaurant. I guess there's something we haven't done. The game's okay, we need to put the power on. Oh, what the? 2106 again. That wasn't there before. The game room. 2106 there. Is that supposed to be us? It's not a very dignified pose, is it? Is the power back onto the arcade as well? Doesn't look like it. There's no air coming out of the table. There's no, still no power here. Cheers, fella! Take care! I might go and save because we've done quite a bit. I wonder if it punishes us for saving. I assume it does. You come back from Daikatana and and how was it? Was it good for you too? Even if it does punish us for saving on the first time through, I think it makes sense. While we're like looking for things to do. Just the final boss quest left to go. Good luck, man. I hope you manage it. That was the restaurant. Wow, did you just walk over that? What a scammer. Feel they can get him to walk in that, surely. Damn it. Alright. Alright, we got the silver key, which we can use uh, at the start here as well, I think. So we can use the silver key over here. There's getting to be a lot of monsters. We use the silver key here. I remember this one. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this is the gift shop. Wonderful. Plastic crow with a pumpkin head. Check the price. Okay, there's, this can be a puzzle in here. I think we should probably clear out the area. Toy, check the price. <laughs> There's something inside. It's a mushroom. I'm a little mushroom boy. I use my mushroom magic to grant you a wish. What is it you wish? Uh, you want to improve the capacity of your shotgun? To each their own. Sure. Wish granted. Nice. Thank you, little mushroom boy. Yeah, I mean, if Fiki beats me, we have to stream more Nightcrow. You know how it goes. Hamritten Basket. Gifts for Natalie. Haunted Hilltop Stuffed Toy. Classic Crow Country Rubber Doll and Fairy Tale Town. So, Haunted Hilltop, Classic Rubber Doll, and a Fairy Tale Town figure. Let me know the total. Yeah, we add them up then. That was a slopper still. 
classic. It's a rubber crow with a pumpkin head. Is this the classic one? Let's have a look. The classic one is, um, yeah. We need the Haunted Hilltop, so that's $10. Fairy Tale Town action figure and Haunted Hilltop. So the pumpkin head one, I guess. Is it? God damn it. Oh, didn't even see that. So it's the Haunted Hilltop stuffed toy. Rubber doll and action figure. Which one's different in the rubber doll and the action figure? Haunted Hilltop stuffed toy. That's the rubber doll, so we know it's definitely $10. This is the Haunted stuffed toy. That's five fifty. So fifteen fifty so far. And it was the action figure, wasn't it, the last one? Fifteen fifty. Fairy tale town action figure. Plastic does this look like an action figure? So that's one nine seven five. Got a magnum? Fucking hell. We got a maglum. Neat. That's kind of handy. Again, unless the code's change in hard mode, that's the sort of thing you would learn as well, and just like zoom through a grab, which is fun. Okay, so what else have we got? We need to see if the silver key gets us anywhere else. Maybe that door at the top? Probably not, but you never know. Otherwise we go downstairs, I guess. Oh, there's a delivery garage we haven't checked out. Should I save it since we got the magnum? The game room I thought had a keyhole. I didn't... Did it have a keyhole in the game room? I didn't check. Let's have a look. <laughs> Get on a work trip tomorrow. Oh, I hope you had a good trip there, dude. That did not kill the man. Which makes me a little bit sad. That did. Storage is jammed. Did I take damage there? No. Oh, this is now open. Yeah, look. Hey, kitty. See, I don't mind you jumping up if you're gentle. You hurt me, eh? Sorry, two seconds. I have a cat in my lap. You save an ominous holds a fire. What you say about saving the game? She says that the fire like makes her feel relaxed and stuff. Do you think there's a chance that the um the girl that was hurt in the first in the gas attack is um is um her? She come to apologize. How much did Nightcrawler you got? I didn't pay for it. Neo did. Sick fuck. That was the control room with the golden key, huh? Hey, Rakan Shin. What are you talking on? The wire. It's armor plated now, kitty. playing with the thing. Alright, what's this one? I know there's an elevator behind the large crow. Does it go anywhere? Does anyone use it? It always seems to be powered down. I feel it's broken, but it's onto the switch in crow's office that turns it on. Uh, okay. 
I'm definitely getting loads of hints and tips. Is there something inside the vent? I'm guessing Gribblers come out. Low battery, to high battery, to working crow. Okay. I think it's a shipping crate. We should open it. Maybe I shouldn't. Do it anyway, coward. Oh, Julie. Hey, kid. Julie, what happened? I'll tell you if you help me out of this thing. Help her out. Of course, let's get you out of there. It's in the Christmas sale. Yeah, well, I think it was a bit cheaper. Don't help if she's sus? I don't know, she got nice trousers. Ugh, thanks for the help. How did you end up in the crate? Some guy grabbed me from behind and threw me in there. Some, some guy? Who was it? No idea. Didn't see his face. He had real sweaty hands, though. Oh, gross. Yeah, not an especially enjoyable experience, all told. What if it was Marvin? He looked like he'd be kind of sweaty. Marvin who? Oh, nothing. Don't worry. Just thinking out loud. I'm just glad you're safe. Yeah, listen, that's twelve, twice you helped me out now. Let me know if there's anywhere I can return the favor. Right, thanks, will do. Anything I can do for you? Not right now, thanks though. You know where to find me. Alright. Okay, I think I have it figured out. Bronze key, crank handle, ruby chain mask, trident, silver key, data disc, acid bottle, fill, golden key, large battery charge, what an ordeal. So that's, I guess that's the clue of the game of what we're trying to do. Marvin! Hello. So we've got the, we need the data disc, which is in the basement, isn't it? Isn't it, if I remember right? Shotgun shells. There's another location here. What's down this one then? What's this one? Alright, Neville. It's a dumpster. Whatever's in there is on fire. It smells bad, it's giving me a headache. Tank of gasoline, but I'm full on gasoline. Shotgun shells. Okay. It's a computer screen with a bunch of flickering numbers, I can't make sense of it. It's a crane, there's something coming out of the ground. Is that the gold it's pulling out of the ground? And then dumping the containers in there. And so I take it it's not actually gold that they're pulling out of the ground. Oh, these, it's like this root stuff, maybe, that looks like gold. My fucking kids love that box, that, the Amazon box that um, one of their toys comes in. They love it. So Judy's gonna stay here for a bit. Alright, was there any of the silver doors? Uh, I don't think so. There's some farty stuff there that we can't do anything with. Kitty, are you trying to come up here? Are you trying to come up here? You know you can climb me without using your claws. You're not going to for a while though, are you? Are silver doors marked with a grey box? No, I think... No, I think grey is... I don't think... I don't think they're colour coded, I don't think. But I think the yellow ones are doors we've now been in, red are ones we couldn't. There's something in Neptune's palace we've yet to do. Oh, kitty, ouch! Oh, right my hand again. Oh, that's me bleeding again. God damn. Little rascals. It's when they jump up to get to the desk. That's when that's when they um that's when they like she claws me. She's jumping up here that seems to be the problem. Maybe if I make her a step to get up, she won't use me. I don't know. Ah, that's so sore. Can the trident be used in that team's part? No, the trident was for the animals. It's How 
How cheap is chainmail to get? Seriously. Yeah, Mozov. It's not like it's like terrible or anything, but I'm definitely getting slashed up a bit at the moment. Ugh. This is the first day they've really been slashing up my hand to climbing, though. Normally they're a bit more careful, but then I suppose I don't normally have my hands in my lap. I guess I normally have my hands, um... Normally have my hands elsewhere. I think they just don't have, like, their claw control sorted at the moment. Which is a bit rubbish, isn't it? Alright, I think we just need to get in the basement at this point, don't we? They don't know what to do with them yet, yeah. I mean, they're still, ba they're still babies, that's the thing. Oi! Yeah, cats, yeah. Yeah, I am getting attacked, but it's just by the local catus instead. Let's go down to the basement then. Let's see what's down there. The game room. I think the game room's powered off, right? Or do you think there's another door in the game room we could we could go into? I have a map down here, yeah, I guess. That is a word. Oh. Did he actually hit me? Yeah, he did. Oh, I'm full of shotgun shells. into that pipe. Looks like some kind of high-tech lock. The display changed. Interesting. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have to find a different way into the central area. We won't budge. I have to see a way to unlock it. We've got the route through northwest. Okay. So I guess this is like underneath the park, but... Can't see a way to unlock that either. That's some gasoline. Car, car. I guess the cart takes us somewhere else. Southeast. What worries for me when they hurt you, they go ow and stop interacting. The problem is they're not even realizing they've hurt me. That they're they're using me to jump onto the desk, and I don't think they even realize they've hurt me. Do you think I should just really loudly go ow and try and get their attention or something? Look at this tall fucker. I might have been him with a shotgun. Nice. Route 2. Don't lick me. You don't get to lick me after murdering me, are you? Oh, yes, you do. You're so cute. Don't do it too loud. I'll be so scared of you. They shouldn't use you like that. Do you reckon every time they climb up, I should just, like, pick them up and put them back down? Or take them out of the room? Something like that. So I'll get them used to, like, not climbing.
Oh, I guess I got a crit because the head came off. So this looks like the, the part to the the park, but it's all underground, so we can't do anything here. We won't budge. Sorry, I can't read the screen at the moment since there's a fucking cat sound away. Hey, eh? what are you doing shooting there? Yeah, you all, you're all big girls now, all running around, but you'll get into the going to the vet tomorrow, and I bet you won't be quite so happy then, will you? I feel I used the shotgun for the big lads. Seems to be the most sensible option. Nice. Root sun. So it looks like there's like different days for the root. You know? You hurt me, you did. Look what you did. My poor end. Yeah, I'm just all new to learn. I'm just trying to learn. Still so trying to learn all this, really, and just try and work out what you know, what I should or shouldn't be doing when they're jumping around. I don't know. It really could be that every single time they get on the desk, I take them off and take them out of the room and shut the door for a bit. I just re really associate like, don't, don't jump on me and don't jump on the desk. It just feels a bit mean because they're only babies, you know. But at the same time, that you know, I know they don't think in the same way that I do, so they probably won't think that's mean. They'll just associate me being on desk with not being in room, therefore, I should not do that. Yeah, they have no content of me, exactly, yeah. It's a very human thing. <laughs> the break room. That's what we've been looking for, isn't it, the break room? I think we've, like, looped our way around. I don't use so much ammo, but I think like making I I got a sneaky suspicion that this is gonna be much easier. Ow! Sorry, I thought I was wanting to get close. I got a sneaky suspicion this might be much easier if we're uh we don't get bitten every time we're down here. Break room. Does I have a map of the area, I wonder? I can't remember the code for the break room security gate. I swear it's a three, a six, a two, and another six, so I can't remember the order. I noticed that the code from an old license plate, but it's gone missing. That's for root access. Looks like the game got interrupted. My first boyfriend taught me how to play pool. He saw one to play after I started winning. Huh, <laughs> what a goober. We've been given a lot of shotgun shells. Bunch of green metal tubes. Looks like I have gold inside. Would've been nice to have a map here. Hang on that way. Neat. Med kit. How is my condition? Okay, I can survive now. More gold ore. Why do they have so much of this stuff? It's an old license plate that's gone missing. A three, a six, a two, and a six. Root access. They turn green, so I guess that's that. Big fart, man. Oh. Ah, I missed. Shit. Mm. 
sorted. Oh, there's the license plate. 2663. So now the root access is up. You see, now you're all cute, you're all asleep on my desk. Mad, mad swines. I'll move in a minute. Oh, we're back here by the restaurant. The same when he's doing at the restaurant, wasn't it? Neptune's Palace. We need to find a way to turn the power onto the game's arcade as well, don't we? I'm just gonna wash my. I haven't just realized I didn't wash the car after I got zapped last time. This will be the third time today. Hooray! Be up a sec. Good luck, Fiki. Hope it goes alright, dude. Alright. Alright. Ah, oh, well, another people cast. What's the best way to get them to the vets tomorrow if, like, they're all sleepy or whatever? I know it sounds stupid. Do I just wake them up, pick them up, chuck them in the barrack, <laughs> and, like, not worry about it? Okay, so we've opened all the roots up so we can go back downstairs, can't we? Oh, where was the... The break room. Oh, that's it, yeah. The yeah, there we go. That's, that's the one we found, so... I've got the cat carriers, I do, yeah. I do. What are the 2106s all about? We've seen that quite a few times. I've got a bl I'll have a blanket in there as well. They'll eventually learn the cat carrier means vet. I mean, I've got two carriers, but they're both tiny at the moment. It might be better just to put them both in the same one, for now. So you might want to keep the carrier around well in advance. I've actually, I've been, for the last week, I've been letting them play in and, in and out of the carrier. Calibration Brute, number six, Friday, loving and giving. What's all this? A large acid tank. A large tank. Acid is steadily dropping out of the pipe. The smell's almost unbearable. Maybe I could use some of that acid. Ah, I don't have a way of containing that acid at the moment. But if I do, I can use that for the mermaid trap, right? I finally turned off the excavation machines. Bossing gave me permission, but I didn't argue. He's obsessed with the pool and the gas. He hasn't answered his phone in days. There was an accident in the park. Boss had to shut the place down. I don't think he cares at all. So what is this stuff? It's weird, isn't it? So this is acid in here, and we can muck around with this machine, but I don't know what else to do with it, really. 
When he goes to hide, you kill out the carrier. Yeah. You can, but they need to associate that each one will be another carrier. So you mean like just grab one, put one in the one carrier, and then put one in the other carrier? Was there a person that acid bath? I think so, yeah. Oh, Macy's bike's down here. Has he gone to Route Thursday? Uh, bear in mind, I haven't got a drive anywhere. With, I'm literally just walking to the vet's earth. Like, they're really close to me. Which is handy. You coming down? You guys give me a nasty scratch, you know? Sorry. She's sitting on my lap, so I'm giving her pets. They're so wiggly though. They like they want pets. But they like the pets, then they wiggle, then they fall, then they wiggle again. You're weirdos, you know that. So they might go and hide if they suddenly see the carrier. Well, what I'm going to do is, um, in the morning, I'm going to leave. They're going to basically make sure they're only in their room, so they can't go in any other rooms. So I, I won't. They won't better like run away from me, basically. <laughs> That's the plan, anyway. Okay, off. Oh, that makes sense. The thing is, when they're on the desk like this and they're just snoozing, like they're just they're just curled up and they're just like having a little snooze, I really don't mind, you know. Like I'm, if they if that's all they did with the desk, that's, I'd be happy with them to do that. But Harrison, what are you doing? It's not safe down here, you know. Yeah, no, I know, but I got chased by some kind of creature, I think. So I can't read the text. I'll read it on the, uh, the screen. Did it touch you? Did it? No, I got away, just about. I ran in here to... Hot, well, get out of the way, you know? Right, good idea. No, kitty. I can't have you crawling. No, none of that. You can go down, then. As soon as she touches the... Um, as soon as she touches the screen, I'm going to just put her down on the floor for a bit. There's this big gas vent, and I thought, okay, maybe I can use it, maybe I can turn this off. Yeah? How's it going? Bad. I don't know how to do it. I tried, but it's too complicated. I don't get it. Hey, it's okay. I'm sure you can do it. I'll help you out. I finally ran into Natalie. Oh, you did? How did that go? Meow? Alright, you coming back up, are you? Right. You can come up if you sit and behave on the desk. If not, I take you back down again. Sorry, we're getting cat-related streaming assistance. There we go. You can reward the treats with vet after the vet. I will do. I've got some. They like the little chickeny treats I've got for them. Hey, what did I just say? That's it. Come on. Hey, let go. Let go. None of that. Come on. You haven't done anything wrong, we will come off soon. <laughs> Down you go. Right, I'm just gonna turf these little troublemakers out. Give me a sec. Now just put them both outside. I'm not gonna ignore them for a bit. Sorry, this probably again for those who aren't cats. Sorry, this probably isn't very interesting. But I'm desperately trying to like work out how best to, you know, how best we do things. Oh, you did? How did that go? Weird. She was acting weird. I think she might be ill. She didn't seem to want to talk to me. Oh, she told me I should just go home. Harrison, sorry, but she's right. You should. Just as all cats take going to the vet. Yeah, I bet, yeah. 
night. I'm not expecting it to be a, a fun trip, but... You're not going to tell me what's going on, are you? Ideally, no. Mara, I'm concerned for your safety. Don't be. Right, have a look. The screen is crap, it still seems to work. I need to use the disc, which I don't have. Control band's connected to a massive gas pipe. The thick, smelly fumes are flowing out. Gas chimney, manual override. Doesn't want to move. Total gas pressure must be at exactly 50 for the successful manual override. Interesting. I think we need more context for some of these puzzles until we need to have a look around and see what works. Route Wednesday. This one's got a save on Oh, this one's got the map. This is the underground map, okay. Acid tank, gas pipe, break room. Okay. Collection of my staff memos. I'm actually full of hanging out, am I? Wednesday, full of woe. More pipes, some stuff we can do. Interesting. Yeah, sorry about being sour yesterday at the end of the yesterday stream. Like, that, that Tomb Raider thing just really, like, bummed me out. Like, I'm really aware that, like, obviously I want the streams to be entertaining as much as I can, and we just got stuck in, like, what I thought was just a really dull area, like, for a very, very long time, only for that not to actually finish as well. I was just like, man. I was just like, oh, come on. So I don't know what we can do with these. I, this obviously lifts that up. I'm not quite sure what we need to do with that, and why. I guess we leave it for now. That session was rough, yeah. It's just like, oof, man. The big problem is that, yeah, if it was just unintuitive, it's one thing, but it was the fact it was so slow and every retry took a long time. I dread to think what, like, saving in certain spots would have been. You almost got him first try, you didn't have any supplies on. Oh, so at least you know how to do it then, so next time in theory you can like, you can stock up and be done. Ooh dear, what happened to Ugh, this is gross. What kind of machine is this anyway? I can turn it on and see what it does? There's a button. Press it. That was underwhelming. Maybe there's something between the clamps? Tuesday, full of grace. Calibration route three. Something underneath, but... Electrocution machine. I can make use of it. Do I have anything that needs a bit of extra electricity? Uh, that's where we get the battery, I guess? So you can charge the battery in here? You haven't got access to important healing potion yet. And that obviously makes it a bit trickier and a bit less safe, I guess, as well. Oh, these two are here. Mr. Trumbull, what are you doing down here? Hey, kiddo, what's shaking? I'm still looking for Edward Crow. Ah, ain't we all? Ain't we all? Why are you looking for him? Well, how should I put this? I need a little help with something. I, uh. He's on the run from the Brazilian authorities. He came back here to hide. Shut your trap, Tolman, you self righteous old biddy buddy. Why don't you make me tremble, you bloated old gas bag? So, what happened in Brazil? Crow and I are running a little operation, see? I was somewhat uh, duplicitous in my nature, I guess you could say. You were selling the gold, right? From the roots? Oh, you've been reading up on me, have you? Why well, go all the way to Brazil just to sell the gold? It's like, too much of a good thing, you know what I mean? No? Well, you see, the gold we scooped out of the roots, right? It's, it's too pure, and there's too much of it. Why is that a problem? 
Crow didn't want anyone connecting the gold back to his land. Didn't want the US government looking into where it was coming from. <laughs> Lude. I was telling the story, Tolman. Oh, sorry, that was Tolman saying that. I was telling the story, Tolman, you up to your bastard. Oh, thank you, Anonymous. That's a big sum as well, thank you very much. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Thank you very, very much for that, Molotov. <laughs> for, for, so, for gifting to Molotov Anonymous. That was very kind. You were doing a shit job of it, Trumbull, you worthless old junkie. So, at least before you got into trouble, you must have been making a lot of money, you and Crow. Uh, you could say that. So, why come back here at all? Why not just go live on a desert island or something? How dare you! Hmm. These guys look like from Monster House. Which one's Monster House? They went and seized all my assets, didn't they? All of it. It all frozen unless I show my face in court and answer all their lovely questions. But let me guess, Crow kept his name out of the paperwork? So he has to keep his share of the money? Is that why you really came back? To make sure he gets dragged down with you? Haha, <laughs> she really sussed you out. Only took her two minutes. Quit your cackling, Tolman, you arrogant old snob. I'll laugh all you like, Trumbull, you dopey old clown. So, Mara, what'd you make of them? What I make of what? The roots. The big green tubes? Those are the roots? Why are they called that? Just what Crow named them. What are they made of? The outer shell is mostly copper. However, the inner core is... 24 karat gold. The purest there is. As you well know, Trumbull, you pious -ass old leech. Shut it, Tolman, you traitorous old credin. And all the machinery, the big circular saw, it's for... We call it root excavation. Although harvesting might be a more accurate term. The roots are cut into shorter segments, which are lifted up to the surface. All this just to extract the gold? Correct, Amondo. She wasn't talking to you, Trumbull, you heinous old parasite. Bite me, Tolman, you pompous old jackass. Mario, you really should get out of here. I can't leave now, I'm so close. Close to what, exactly? Do you even know? Listen, I know you want to... Don't bother with the pep talk, she doesn't care. Quiet down, Trumbull, you greasy old halfwit. Don't talk to me like that, Tolman, you cantankerous old sea sponge. Try to shoot the sparks. Oh, grenade, nice. Monday, fair of face. Again, we can just... I guess we eventually have to do something with this, but... When are they gonna kiss, innit? I made a movie from 2006? I don't think I ever saw it, actually. Was it good? So we got root... Tuesday, the electrocution but Monday is empty. We got one more to check on this way. Sunday. What's that weird looking one? I got another map. Oh, this is the central area. Ah. Looks somewhat sinister. It's generator, it looks entrant. One of it's powering. Turn it off. Well actually I have no idea how to turn it off. It looks fragile, maybe I can just destroy it. That's gonna be for Crow's office, I think. Sunday, preserve for posterity. Hey Ed, do you get my rock shipment? Why don't you answer the phone? What's going on over there, Marv? It's a med kit. I don't need medkits. So I think that's going to be his office is now available to us. Neat. And that's it, right? Oh no, there's one more door up here. Saturday route. Let's have a look at Saturday route. The top layer looks like it's supposed to be grass. The bottom layer looks more like soil or rocks. It's a wooden model. I guess that's the, the how the route looks, like, overall. Saturday works hard. Another grenade in the box there. Huh? 
Oh, I guess we go to the off. Uh, we go up to the office, which should be in the one above us, right? It's an interesting little mystery. I wonder what this stuff is that they're actually excavating. Definitely weird, isn't it? Crow's office. There's a golden key. Damn it! So close. We turned off the thing. We've still got the dungeon, but we haven't got any way of getting the... Oh, I know what we need to do. Neptune's palace. I'm... I know what we need to do. Let's go back underground. I think it's safer. Travel quicker. We need to go to Neptune's palace and get the cup. I reckon the cup will let us hold the acid, maybe? I mean, it shouldn't, right? But... Vinci games. Let's, let's test that. Hey, what's that here? Explode fairy to get golden key. We did, we did have a note that told us where the fairy was, but I don't quite remember where it was, though. It said the fairy, it said the golden fairy, not the one in the fairy forest, somewhere else. We might need to look it for our notes again and just double check where that is. Now we clear the underground, this is like a safer way of travelling around, I think. A ceramic cup. <laughs> well, I guess that makes sense. Lude. Hey, thank you again, Kaif. Thank you for the 22. Appreciate that, man. Hope you're doing alright. We want the restaurant, which is... Not this way? Lounge? Not that way. Restaurant's by the big guy, I think, over here. Oh shit. Wait, is that legal? The head came off. The cup is empty. Press button. The cup's full, I don't want to drink it. Empty it out. Why would we... Oh, it's the puzzle that we gotta... The f Maybe we gotta do it in the, the fruits over here. Whoa! Shit. So it's purplish, I guess. Green. Oh. Shit. Green, pineapple, strawberry. Mr. Craig eats extra treasure maps in the wooden bureau in the lounge. 8891. Okay. Alright, so we did a puzzle in there, but. The lounge is here. 8891. The map of secrets. Uh. Interesting. Oh, secrets. Oh yeah, look. We can now see what secrets we're missing. That's cute. It's 
So we need to find the other fairy and blow up her head or something. We need, we need acid for that, don't we? Which we get from the mermaid. So the game's arcade. We don't. Have, we still haven't got a way to turn on the game's arcade, do we? What's up, Chris? Come in. Let's have a look in the arcade again. So there's definitely a puzzle in here we can do, but I don't know how to turn the power on here. Oh! The silver keyhole. Right, someone even mentioned earlier, I'm so sorry about the silver key in here. Right. And then we had a clue, didn't we, about the... Dolphin needs to be twice the mermaid. Boat needs to be twice the dolphin. And shark should be twice the boat. Dolphin needs to be twice the mermaid score. Well, let's, where's mermaid? First of all. Zap girl. Mermaid quiz. Which of the Which area of the tongue is used for taking sweet things? Uh good question. Let me see if I remember this from school. Sweet the back? Dope. Oh. Which is the tallest building Oh sorry. Oh I got that right, nice. What caused the extinction of the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! Aww. <laughs> it's not really though. Is that another myth? Is it? I missed the chrome all there. Back on the of the best slip and slide. Not too. What's the approximate publish note? Can I finish the game for now with two? Right. Dolphin should be twice mermaid, so we need to get four on that one then, so. Jump to pot the balloons. Okay. So we need to get four on this one then. We got four on that one. And then next one would be boat needs to be twice dolphins. We need to get eight on boat. Where's boat? Speedboat. I'm very good at speedboat. Okay, we've now got eight. And the last one was. You can't get 16 on a single score. Oh, is it single score, do you think? Do you think it's a single score only? I was expecting it to be double score. You can see the digits above the note, can you? Oh shit, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I am useless. How do I reset this? What's the highest grossing film of all time? E.T.? The Godfather was pretty impressive, but I don't think an 18 rated film would be more than like E.T. That's right too. Yeah. Alright, and I need to... So I need to jump into a... Fuck your balloons, Dolphin. That's what we had to do. Shark. Where's Shark? Hudge. Shark shooter. Aim and shoot fish, don't shoot the skulls. 
very good at shooting fish. Oh, there's a skull! Oh, spooky. Zero, 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 zero should be correct as well. You can actually just walk in here and the puzzle's already done. Oh, damn! Oh, somewhat scammed. We got doubled. Spooky, scary skulls. That fish was a scam. Nice. Hey, we got the disc. Security access. Very nice. There's a t there's a computer in the train room and there's a computer in the um, dungeon. Let's do the one in the train room first, I guess. The saving icon. Yeah, we got the saving icon. Score. This is really cute little game. I like this a lot. This is good. I've been, uh, been having a lot of fun with this. Nice little throwback. How difficult it is. Uh, the combat's relatively tricky, but nothing awful. Um, you have to be a bit careful with your management of items, but nothing tragic. Like, nothing truly, like... Like, insanely difficult. Use item. The disc. Oh, move the cursor. Engine. A. Let's see what this does. Ryan's Odyssey. Let's have a look what it says here. Our grandest team engine, elegantly combining all four design styles. During the war, it was used to carry artillery. Hmm. I wonder what the shtick is here. Engine, first car, second car, A, B, C, D. I guess it was depending on how I see is what, what's been built. So the first car is combining all four stars, right? So we need to look at what the style of the car is. That's A and C. This one's going to be C and D, I guess, but let's have a look. Uh, B and C, uh, B and D. It's B and... Well, the end was B. So that was the end, sorry. So that was D. That was B. Well, the second, the second one was the last one on this one. Hey, congrats, Figgy! Combine something from all stars. Well, this one, the very first one... I'm not sure that's supposed to be A and C? Let's have a look. Oh, is that A and B? I'm not sure what the context of this is. 
The steam engine, beautiful combining the Arabella and... Oh, I see. A and B. Right. Arabella and Bernadette styles. So this is Arabella and Bernadette. So... Okay, so red is B. So the second one is B. So it's A, space, B. Right. I've got it. I got it. I should have read the note. A, space... Oh, I've already got it. A, space, B. And then this one is... Get out of the way. This is the Arabella and Delilah. So that's A, and that's... So that's D. And that's A again. Arabella and Delilah. Assuming that's Arabella is the front. So the third one is A, and the second one is D, sorry. Third one is A, second one is D. Sorry, third one is A, and second one is D. No? Am I still stuffing this up somehow? Oh, because we're missing one, aren't we? We're missing one. Because we've only seen the certain colours. So the final one is going to be C then. So the Arabella and Bernadette designs is going to be... Yeah, so we got... Am I being stupid? Sorry. A, space, and B. So this should be A, and that should be B. No, this is um, Arabella. So that's A, sorry. And that's B. So that's, that's on both trains, that's A. That's B. That's Arabella. Ah, there we go. Alright. It's a smooth it's a flamethrower. Neat. Get to cook some fools. Oh yeah. Presuming that's an industrial purpose, I've no idea what it is. Cute. Now we can commit war crimes. Hooray! So there's a secret in the toilette we haven't done yet. The staff parking. The witch wood. We've got quite a lot of secrets to go. Alright. Anyway, well, it's getting a bit late. We'll save this for now. And then we'll have another look next time. There we go. I'll have to go put the little terrorists to uh, make sure they're, they're resting downstairs. The mushroom guy that gives me all flame for a few. Yes, in the um, uh, in the haunted manor, wasn't it? In the haunted manor. There we go. You're watching Fear and Hunger when you're filling with the PC. You remind me of seeing those terrible crime of ordering fish and chips at spoons. Oh no, yeah, not spoons food. God damn. Uh... Don't want to be doing that. Alright everyone, thank you as always for watching. I hope you had a lovely, lovely time. I'll see you all again uh, tomorrow, they like. I think we'll probably be doing some more stuff at Rufa tomorrow. Uh, we're grounded. And uh, I'll catch you there. Oh, excuse me. Uh, do take care everyone. Good night. Have a good one. Bye-bye.